What is up, I Love Basketball TV, it's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today I'm gonna help you finish around the basket with some more athletic finishes. I got some college players here to help me out. We're gonna get into some finishes that are gonna involve a lot of footwork, involve some athleticism, allow you to get in your bag a bit. Let's get to it. The first finish is gonna be the easiest one that we have. We're breaking down our Euro step, we'll get into a pro hop, we'll get into a spin move, and we'll get into a slide by today. These are four staple finishes that I teach all of my players. Now with the Euro step, we wanna make sure that we get a hard step to the outside and then bring it back to the inside. When we do it, here are the most common problems. Go ahead, Dom, do one Euro step for me and then I'll kind of explain some common problems, right? You're coming outside and then inside, so left, right, yes sir. One, two. Now Dom did something perfect, okay? I want you to go do yours. One second. Okay, go ahead. One, two. Okay. Both of them did something perfect. And obviously they're older, a little more advanced. Let me see the basketball. So they get it right. Nice wide steps and ball overhead. Okay, a lot of youth players, when they get into this move, they go boom, boom. Right, and that ball comes through the stomach or it comes through the chest. And the problem with that is it's really easy to take it away. When you go over your head, do yours again, but go slow-mo. It gives you an advantage because if I don't bite on the Euro and I'm still here, that ball is now protected. He can shoot this, put this leg up. He could still shoot this floater or this jump shot right here because the ball was protected. But if he went through his waist, right, and he went one, two, there's nothing that you can do to shoot that. You're stuck, you're lost, you have no options. You can't pass it, you can't do anything. So I always teach to go over. Sometimes it's okay to do a nice Euro or you come below or there's different options. You don't always have to go over, but for safety, that's the way I teach it. So hard step this way, okay? And right now, we're gonna go ahead and add a nice little pass fake. So we'll start right here where Dom is. Fake that pass to the corner. No, right there, it's fine. Fake the pass to the corner. Hit me with that Euro set, bring it over. For your finishes, I always suggest that you finish left side, middle, and on the opposite side. So work on all the above. Go ahead. We'll go like five reps. One, two, beautiful. One, two, perfect. Way to get to the other side. One, two, beautiful. Now you see kind of left side, middle, opposite side. One, two, perfect. That's okay. Go ahead. One, two. Good. One, two. Beautiful. That's okay. Finish. Two more makes. Two more makes. One, two. Last one. One, two. Okay, now same idea. We're just going to flip it. So we're starting here. I'm going to be help defense in the middle. We're going to fake the pass to the opposite block, bring it back to this side. Okay, so now literally same thing. When you finish, Finish some right hand, finish some left hand. Even Euro step me like this. One, two, and you might even make it back to the other side. The more that you're creative with the actual finish is gonna actually help you around the basket when those reads are necessary. So right foot here, let's go. Right, left, beautiful. That's okay. One, two, perfect. Right, left, good, don't drag that foot though. One, two, sell that pass fake to the opposite side for me. Sell it like you're gonna pass that ball over here. Pass, good, nice one. Yep, good job. One, two, perfect, okay. Now, the reason why is because of secondary reads. When you do stuff like this, it's gonna help you become way better. Anybody can learn how to do a Euro step, right? But the problem is no one learns what to do when the Euro step gets stopped, when your move gets stopped, right? You learn how to do a move, but you need a counter to everything. So when I teach finishing, I say do the Euro, but you gotta learn how to finish left because the defense might be here, right? You gotta learn how to finish inside because the defense might come here. You might have to cut back and get back into that reverse because the defense might have read it. So when you get into your moves, it's very important that you mix it up. Maybe you go Euro step floater, Euro step left, Euro step right, even off the same footwork. Let's get into our next one. Our next move is our pro hop. Fairly simple, we're gonna get into open space here. Should be about two dribbles for you guys. As you slam that ball in the second dribble, you're gonna pick it up with one hand and hop you grab the ball with two hands while you're in the air. If you do it before, you're gonna travel. So make sure that you don't grab the ball with two hands until you're in the air. A Couple ways that I like to pick it up. High, my personal favorite. Boom, you saw how I clap when my feet are in the air, right? You can go low, boom, but pick it up low, kind of below your knees, right? That also protects the ball. You can tuck it, so you come here, boom, and hug the basketball. But what you're noticing every time I do it is I'm turning my body. Because if I have a defender that's standing right here, go ahead. All right, what I don't want to do is jump into open space and keep the ball exposed. So I don't want to go, boom, 
where the ball is still exposed. Even if I tucked it or went over, went under. I want to turn my body to protect the ball. So when I get into it, I'm here. Boom. Now I'm protected. Right? You see how the ball is away from defense. So I can get into a floater. I can get into an inside hand layup. I can get into a fade. All right. So let's go pro hops. When you get to that middle, floater, sneak it with the inside hand, or shoot a fade. Let's go. Two dribbles. One, two. Good. Beautiful. That works too. Boom. Go flow. Bang. Not bad. Protect it a little more though. Good low. Great low. Mm hmm. What it makes of the finish. Boom. Perfect. Last one. Beautiful. Real easy. Real easy. Now, some things they did really well is turn their body, protect the ball, and get distance. Sometimes people do that, you're, uh, sorry, pro hop, and they don't really cover a lot of distance. So you guys did a great job with that. Obviously, we could do the same thing where I'm in the middle and they could pro hop back to the baseline, but they did a great job. It's not too hard of a move. You guys understand it. We'll move on to the next one. Our next move here is gonna be our spin move, okay? So we can do this one with contact, without contact. Both ways work incredibly well, but most common problems that you see with the spin move. Players will come here and dribble with the left hand, and they'll slam that ball and then decide it's a good idea to pick it up with the right hand. That's exposing the basketball, do not do that. Instead, what I wanna do is make sure I dribble with the left hand, pick it up with the left hand, and actually protect with my right hand. So when I'm getting here and the defense is there, I'm gonna slam it here and protect with this right hand. I'm not fouling him, I'm not pushing him, I can even bump with his shoulder, but I'm protecting with this hand. Now, as I get into my spin, I have to go one, two, and then I go ahead and switch right there. A huge problem that a lot of players have is they jump off one foot, which is not the biggest issue in the world, but I'm always gonna teach it off of two because of the options that you have available to you. So sometimes if it's just quicker to go off one, that's fine, but I'm gonna teach it off two every time because if I go like this and I spin, and he did a good job of guarding it and I put, went off one foot, I'm kinda screwed right here. But if I'm able to put both feet down, oh, I can finish this, I can pump fake and step through, I could pump fake and shoot it. I could pass it. I have every option in the world because I was able to put both feet down. I can even get into a contact finish off of a spin move where I'm coming here, boom, boom, jump into it and get into a finish because I have those options available off two feet where I don't off of one. So we're driving here, should be again, about two dribbles. We'll push into the middle. Same thing as always, finish middle, finish opposite side, finish on this side. We're just getting straight into that spin. Boom, slam, spin, beautiful. Love it. Slam it, spin, good. Not bad, I want you to kind of pick it up with one hand instead of two, it's not, it's not wrong, sometimes it's good to pick it up like that, but I want you to put your right hand in my chest. Cool, go ahead. Boom. Good. Boom, nice one. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful, that's perfect. So. Like I said, what he did wasn't wrong because he got a nice quick pickup on that. So sometimes it's good if someone's going for the steal, but I always like to get a nice little bump with it and teach you that way as well. So get you a little more separation, a little more protection, and then you're able to finish that one easier. Okay, last finish we'll get into is gonna be our slide by. So the last finish we're getting into here is our slide by. Two ways to do this, but essentially super easy, right? We drive left, we finish right, that's it. So you can do this off one foot, you can do it off two feet, but I'm driving this way to the left, defense thinks I'm going left, I'm jumping off the left foot, and then I just finish down the middle or the other side with my right hand. Okay, you can do it off one foot or you can make it look the same as our contact finish that we did in a previous video where we drove this way and went one, two, like we're gonna draw contact, but instead of drawing the contact, we just come around this way. So we're driving left, we finish right. Super easy. You can do it off one foot, you can do it off two feet. Okay. It's okay. Boom. That's okay, that's perfect. So you see how the defense right here is not running into you? They're trying to go for the ball. They're trying to get that rip. Okay, go ahead. Oh, don't do that. That's, you're going to do a pro hop. So, okay, let me, back, let me backtrack that. I'm gonna help you guys out and make it easier. All right, so number one problem that people have when they go into a slide by is they try to dribble right before they jump. Okay, so don't do that. You're never gonna wanna dribble at the same time you try to jump your highest. That's impossible. When you get into a dunk, when you get into a high jumping finish, you dribble, gather, and then you elevate. Am I right? So it's the same idea, same prospect. So when we're getting into a pro hop, yes, you dribble before you jump because you're trying to not travel and get into the open space. But when you're trying to jump your highest, we go dribble, gather, and then we can elevate. So let's make it simple right here. We'll go like this, one dribble, 
and then elevate off one foot or go one dribble jump stop. Elevate off two right there. Cool. One dribble, let's go. Right here. Boom. That's perfect. That's tough, I know. Good job. That's it, just like that. Drive left, finish right. Yeah, it's tough. Good. Great job. Perfect, what a get away. Love it, great job. Uh-huh, going left, going left, going left. Drive left, finish right. Good, that's it, right there. You drive left, you finish right, last one. Make one. Almost, almost, almost. Finish it. Yep, finish it, last one. Oh, so don't do that. So don't dribble at the same time that you jump. Okay, go ahead. Good, that's it right there. That's perfect, do it again. You see the little gather that he gets into? So realistically, if I'm here, he's trying to jump into me, right? Which is perfect, because he wants to get into contact. But if I slide for the ball, he can still just extend it. Go ahead. Good, right there. That's all right, one last one, come on. He's got it, yeah, you got it. One more, one more, you got it. Go ahead, you're good, it's totally fine. Yep. Drive left, get up. That's it right there, perfect, great job. See ball. So today we were able to get into our Euro step, pro hop, spin move, and slide by. All advanced ways to attack the basket, make sure that you can get there, have different options. When we do this stuff, you notice that we always do all of our moves and try to finish in multiple directions. So like the slide by, you saw some people get away and finish on this side of the backboard, the middle, or even the other side. All right, there's options with all that stuff. You wanna play with every side of the backboard with each hand. Now, lastly, when you get into this stuff and you're doing it on the left side, make sure that you do it on the right side as well and that both hands are equally as strong. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell.